Hello Year 9, I'm Mr Allen, the Head of Science here at Mill Hill County High School. I would like to tell you about the GCSE separate science course that is one of your GCSE options. In either combined science or separate science GCSEs, you will study the subjects biology, chemistry and physics. If you decide to choose the separate science option, you will gain three separate GCSEs in biology, chemistry and physics on completion of the course, compared with two GCSEs in completion of the combined science course. If you study GCSE separate science, you will have five more science lessons per fortnight compared to GCSE combined science. This is to cover the additional content in each of the biology, chemistry and physics topics. For example, you will learn about plant disease in GCSE biology and nanoparticles in GCSE chemistry, but these areas won't be covered in the combined science. And in GCSE physics, there is a whole additional topic on space that does not feature in combined science. There are the same number of exams for separate or combined science, two each in biology, chemistry and physics. However, in separate, each exam will be 30 minutes longer. You should choose separate science if you have an inquiring mind, enjoy learning about science and are thinking of possible careers in science. If you are considering taking A-levels in one or more of the science subjects, then GCSE separate science will help prepare you for further study in the subject. Whether you study separate or combined science courses, you can still go on to study A-levels in biology, chemistry or physics if you gain the required entry grades at Mill Hill County High School. Thank you for listening.